When Jesus wanted to teach his disciples how to pray, he gave them a model prayer. It's not a magic formula, it's not something you just recite blindly, it's a template for prayer, a framework walking you through five basic practices of prayer. Adoration, intercession, petition, confession and surrender. Frameworks are helpful for us in finding our ways and, and rhythms for prayer. And what we're doing with this resource is providing another kind of framework. We'll go through each main section of the Lord's Prayer in a week. We'll give you some practices to try out and you can make notes, create a daily prayer journal, whatever you find helpful. But for this first week, we're thinking about God's goodness. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. The way we start our prayer is so key. We don't just rush into a shopping list of requests. We consciously engage with the divine, the supernatural, the heavenly. In biblical terms, heaven isn't something up there, remote, far off, inaccessible. It's, it's a dimension of God's presence which is all around us. And in prayer, we push into the intersection of heaven and earth. First of all, we remind ourselves that God is Father. He's close, accessible, loving, near. But he's also in heaven and he invites us to enter into a heavenly experience. He's Father, natural, and he's in heaven, supernatural. Prayer is where the two come together. Secondly, we hallow his name. Again, a mixture of the earthly and the divine. We get to hallow his name. That is, we ascribe worth, value, holiness to him. But at the same time, we remind ourselves of his divine name, his character. It's my worship, God's worth. Earth and heaven intersecting. I find it helpful to act this out. Our Father, in heaven, hallowed be your name. Pushing into that intersection. This week, we're going to try using a centering prayer to start our devotions. Essentially, that means we're finding a place of stillness and quiet, then we're focusing intently on God's name. We'll use the name Jehovah, Yahweh. It's, it's the ancient name that God reveals himself with. I am that I am, the eternal one, the self-existent one, the great I am. Down in the notes, you'll find seven Jehovah names that you can use, one for each day, if you like. Take one minute or two, still yourself, and then just whisper the name in prayer. Repeat it, meditate on it. You can use one of the Bible passages associated with it. So for example, if you use Jehovah Ra, the Lord my shepherd, you can read Psalm 23. Riff on it, use your own words, really dive into it, center yourself on it. I find it helpful to do this kneeling down, but you might want to walk it out or sing or use worship music. The key is that I'm not rushing into a one-sided conversation. I'm taking time to adore and bless my Father in heaven, to remind myself that I'm praying to a good and loving God and to invite him to draw me into his heavenly presence.